Hello and welcome to lesson number 23 in my guitar technique series. Today I'm going to show you the rolling strum and it sounds like this. Now that's uh, reminiscent of an old uh, 60s song by Tommy Rowe called Sheila that I used to do in my live set and I'm going to show you how we do this rhythm. Um, I'm holding down a normal D major chord and I'm doing this with my plectrum. Down, down, up, down, down, up. So one, two, three, four. One, two and three, four. Now it's very wristy, the wrist should be very loose. When you do it, just start slowly. I do down, down, up, down, down, up. Do it twice on the D, twice on the A, twice on the G, twice on the A. And just gradually build your speed up. guitar comes from the wrist, doesn't come from the elbow. The elbow is hardly moving. It's all uh, a wristy kind of action. Just gradually build the speed up. And the accents down, 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 on the beat, yeah? Same thing on the power chords that I showed you in lesson 22. So yeah, that's quite effective, isn't it? So rolling. Now I'm going to show you how to do a much faster roll than this. a lot faster isn't it? What am I doing? Let's slow it right down. I'll do it on a D chord. I'm going. So I'm going down, up, down, up. And I hold my hand quite steady. I kind of stiffen it up so the plectrum doesn't fly out of my hands. So down, up, down, up, really fast. Remember on a D chord I only play the four strings nearest the floor. And then having done that, just go down, down, up. And maybe on the fourth beat if I do a, a little chop right hand mute. on every bar but every now and then it's nice you know to do it on an E chord it's very important that you start on a downstroke if you start with an up it will feel wrong it will give you the wrong um, accent so always you have to make sure you restart with the down strum. I'll slow it right down. harder on an E because you've got six strings you can work with so you know you need to be quite um, quite aggressive with it uh, you can't do it half-heartedly 
or it won't work. So a couple of rolling rhythms there and uh, they're both pretty useful. I uh, hope you very much enjoyed this lesson today and you'll see me in the next video.